This is my chicken coop, and these are my chickens. These sassy little ladies are silky bantams, and they love to roam free in our garden every single day. Up until now, they've been sleeping in this Summersby chicken coop, which unfortunately has seen better days. It's recommended that you have one square meter of coop space per chicken, and seeing as I recently brought home two new little ladies, it was definitely time for an upgrade. I found an enormous eight square meter chicken coop on Amazon for the uh, humble price of $1,700, plus $130 shipping. Now that is a huge amount of money, and I wouldn't have been able to buy it if it weren't for today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a subscription meal kit that delivers easy to follow recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients that are ready to cook right to your front door. There's no time wasted because you don't have to hop in the car and go grocery shopping. There's no food wasted because the food is all pre-portioned into the exact quantities you need for your recipe. There's dozens of recipes to choose from each week and most take only 30 minutes and some take 20 minutes or less with their quick and easy options. There's low carb, low cal, vegetarian and pescatarian options with fully customizable portion sizes and delivery dates. You can skip a week whenever you want and best of all, HelloFresh is sustainable. Their packaging is either fully recyclable or it's made from recycled materials. If you wanna give it a try, go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel16 to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. So go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel16 to get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. And with that, you can fit so many chickens in these bad boys. I'm glad to see that the wire is attached. We don't have to do that. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, I veto this as a chicken coop. This is now Lockie's house and mansion on the property. Lockie's mansion. Lockie's mansion. Oh, big metal tray. That's their makeup vanity. Oh, a second makeup vanity. Very good, very nice. We have to find the instructions. They're in here somewhere. <laughs> did, did it say which box has the instructions? No. That'd be helpful. Just on the side of one of the boxes, like a picture of the instructions with like an box. X on it, like in this yeah. box. <gasps> Never mind. All right, Alex, I need to do a quick inventory check. We should have 28 pieces of 3.5 by 60 millimeter screws. We should have 67 pieces of 50 millimeter by 3.5 millimeter screws. We should have 70 pieces of 3.5 by 40 millimeter screws. Are you getting this? Look how many pieces there are, guys. Hey. How many? Roof panels alone. Oh, no, sorry, there's only two roof panels. I saw the 21. It's it's part 21. I thought it was like 21, 21 roof parts. panels. Never mind. It's the I'm, size of a house. I am a fool. <laughs>
be taking note of the parts as we unpack them because for our first set of instructions we're going to need to find parts 13, 15, 11 and 14. Do you know where they are? Oh, for f sake. You know, so far I would say it's pretty easy to assemble. Yeah. I was a little bit intimidated by the amount of pieces, but this is actually very straightforward. The instructions don't even need words or English or anything. It's just, it's just like screw here and here and here. Next piece, put a screw here and here and here. It's actually very, very simple. shocked me. I was not expecting that. I was not ready for it. So all the side panels are assembled now and we're going to take them out to the spot where we're building the coop but we're only doing a test build so that Sam can get the measurements of the base because we're actually going to build it on a nice solid foundation. We're going to build the city on rock and roll. Yeah, it's a tree to pine timber but don't tell anyone that. Are you guys stuck? You can just go around if you want. Right, now before we go any further with the assembly, we've got to figure out exactly where in the yard that this is going to go. I want to see it in a couple of different positions because I can't quite make up my mind until I actually see it in situ. So I'm thinking option A, we're going to put it facing basically parallel to you guys, going straight this way, and then the chooks can have all of that as their run. Option B will be, it'll be smack bang in the center and it can have a little fence on either side. And option C is having it on an angle because the nicest part about the pen has a little windows. That's by far the, the cutest feature, but also the front of it is going to have some little uh, boxes, like flower boxes on it. So I want to be able to see the front and the windows. So the third option is going to be having it on an angle so you can see the windows and the face of it. But I need to put it in all three positions before I make up my mind. So let's have a look at option A. All right, well, uh, now that we've tried option A, I've realized that option A boycotts option B. Because the thing is so wide that if you set it off to one side or the other, it's basically still in the middle of the yard. So uh, that goes straight to option C. And uh, can I just say, I did not think that it was going to be this wide. Uh, when I was buying it, I did get the measurements from the website and we stepped it out on the ground and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, it's a decent size, but something about the measurements on the ground not translating in my brain, like now that it's actually standing, I'm like, good Lord, it's bigger than my garage. All right, well, after a lot of deliberation and a lot of moving the coop around, we finally settled on the spot. Sam's built this little base here, which uh, he's made perfectly level. Now, if you were in an area where you might have a threat to your chickens, like raccoons or what other American terrifying creatures are there? Coyotes. Coyotes, yeah, <laughs> or hamsters. <laughs> scary American animals. If you have those, maybe you might want to pin Very dangerous, some... those hamsters. I am so sorry. All day, every day. Can't stop, won't stop. I, I can't even flush the <laughs> toilet without... 
right, well, there's uh, not much point in talking right now when we've got... So uh, I'm just going to put on some lo-fi music and we're going to finish off the assembly of the coop. Excuse me. Did you not even notice? I was absorbed in my work. <laughs> and no clue. Thank you for baking. No problem. Did you use our eggs? I did. <laughs> Actually, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to lay them up here though. <laughs> definitely going to have to learn how to jump from this across to there. Silky Bantams are notoriously kind of dopey because they you, they can't really see very well because their eyes are kind of covered by the giant ball of fluff on their head. So they're not very uh, athletic. They don't have the best agility. So 
I, I was a little bit worried that they wouldn't be able to scale the ramps because they're so steep. Uh, and I'm also worried that they're gonna struggle getting from there to there. But I am gonna film them as they get used to this pen and as they learn how to use it. Um, I'm gonna give them a little bit of encouraging. Chickens definitely learn by watching each other. And I find that if you show them how to do something, if you show every single one of them how to do it, eventually one of them will pick it up and then all of them will learn off the one that figures out how to do it. There you go, she's made the step. This is what I do, just show them how it's done. Big jump. Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you like it, girls? And now they're like, how the fuck are we gonna get down from here? Oh god, here we go. Oh, please don't fall. Please. Very interested to see how she gets down. Maybe I should show them how to get down as well. Oh god! <gasps> I'm gonna leave this egg. I'm gonna leave it up here to just kind of like encourage them to lay there. Oh, there's another egg! Look how small they are. By the way, two bantam eggs, or even three bantam eggs, equals one regular egg. All right, I'm gonna put this one here. All right guys, well that's it. That's everything. Thank you so much for joining us while we assembled the new coop. If you enjoyed this, this was part one. There will be a part two. We're going to be doing an entire chicken garden. And I've got a whole bunch of gardening supplies from Wish. And ooh, we started assembling some of them and it's been absolute chaos. There's some very good things and there's some You'll just have to wait and see. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in part two. Mwah. All right, so um, the chickens spent their first night in the coop. So we're gonna go see how they did. We've just put up a little temporary fence here. Hello girls. Oh, hang on. So we've got one, two, three, four, four. There's six on the ground. Does that mean two have figured out? Oh, <gasps> no. Look. Dan, look! Kylo! Kylo and Stormy! <laughs> they worked it out! What do we got? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Great success! Oh, I'm so happy! Yay! Good job, girls! How smart! They're the only two that seem to have worked the ramp out. That's very impressive.